Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Shane. And welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some credibility to the mix, we compare our top fives with that of an expert in the field. Today's topic is US pizza chains. And today's experts are renowned tasters of pizza and hosts of Good Mythical Morning. Please welcome to the void, Rhett and Link. Hey! Hello. Oh, you made yeah. it sound very official. I hope we deliver. Ha! Get it? Deliver? <laughs> I mean, oh, we're off to a great start here. I think it sounds official because it could be argued that you guys have the most traveled buds in the game. And I'm talking taste buds. People say our show is now a food show. Uh, it's the sore subject. Let's not, let's not talk about it. Before we get into our top fives, let's talk about the rules. And there's only one rule, and that rule is that the pizza chain must be in the United States. You never know where this is gonna go, and that's why this show is so fun. That all being said, let's, let's list. list. That was the best one yet. Little Caesars dropped off of our list so that we could put at number five, CPK, California okay. Pizza Kit. <laughs> okay, all right, that's, I like this. I do like this. It wasn't originally on the list until we had to collaborate. And again, this is also being informed by a recent experience. We were doing an episode that was about something tangential to pizza, but we tasted this pizza that was just a regular like margarita style pizza. And we were like, whoa, that's, what is that? That is good. And it turns out it was CPK. And cause I'm not, cause listen, I don't go there on a regular basis, but since tasting it again for the first time, uh, in probably 10 years. I recently, we had, we did get lunch and we both got the barbecue chicken pizza, which they're known for. They say, I, I think they say that they it's invented good. the barbecue chicken pizza or certainly popularized oh. it. It's, it's still good. They bring it. You can also get a pizza that has shrimp on it. I mean, they're trying really hard. It gives you, it gives you some variety. And if you don't live in California, I think it's legit. Here, it's a little sus going there and I, you know, I don't want to admit to that. Uh, you know, I respect them for, for for putting weird stuff on it, you know? It is truly Californian. They're Trailblazers. Ryan, you probably ate this. This was probably your Thanksgiving growing up, right? <laughs> 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 Fuck you. I would say that these folks were the ones who really brought that artisanal craft pizza onto the mainstream. And as you guys said that, I regretted not putting it on my list. Oh! <laughs> hey, all right! My number five is California Pizza Kitchen. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Now, this is, oh, man. I mean, this is the second time it's happened where I've had the same number five as a guest, and I'm not just doing this to earn a little goodwill with the guests. Clearly, it is a ploy. That is not what's yeah. happening here. It's, I'll, it's I'll say this. blatantly transparent. And Ryan, I want you to know, I, you know, I really enjoy Southern California. Uh, you, it's a great place you've propped up here. Um, I think, California Pizza Kitchen, chain-wise, you know, it might be the best pizza you can get in California. Oh um, it's really, it's really a, a desert. It's, I, I'd call it a pizza desert. There's so many good pizzerias in SoCal. It's a rough town for pie. My number five is Pieology. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this place. Uh, yeah. Oh! But Pieology is part of that, uh, create your own individual pizza craze. Now, it was not the first on the scene, that was Mod. Mod was the first to do that. In right. fact, the creator of Mod also created Pyology in 2011. Whoa, uh, why? Why would you recreate the same thing? Did you yeah, that, <laughs> it's kind of odd. You really just set me up there. You set me up there, I'm oh, glad you okay. asked. 40 different choices of toppings at Pyology, sourced locally when they can be, and they have excellent crust varieties. They have this very thick, crust, this thick premium crust, and they have their very uh, thin original crust, which is what they started it with, which is beautifully crispy yet fluffy at the same time somehow, while still being thin. Uh, I also don't feel like a garbage monster when I eat one of these individual pizzas myself. Their specialty pies, which is like, you could go into the shop, you can make your own, or you could build off a base that they give you, and their specialty pies, I think, are the best in the artisanal individual pizza game. I think it's a solid choice to take one of those because they have shaken up 
the pizza game so much. Yeah. And it's really yeah. up to you. It does a lot to screw up. Yeah, it's like when you go, I mean, I, I always say this about the Mongolian places where you go and you're making the decision about what you're gonna put together. There's such a delicate balance and don't go that overboard. can really happen <laughs> when you do these build your own pizza. Yeah, I mean, when I'm there and going down the line, I'm constantly saying, now stop me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> just that's, step in here if you need to. That's putting way too much trust please, into that person. Please intervene. If they just hit me with a nice little subtle, yeah, just a little mm. wince. Yeah. You sure about that? You sure about that? Okay. <laughs> uh, a pizza critic to just follow your journey. Our number four uh, comes with its own disclaimer. Papa John's. Oh. It made it on the list as a testimony to its pizza, but not. Let's say its ingredients. Its, it's ingredients, but not its. Uh... Former spokesman. <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Papa John's is our number four. If we were going on taste alone, I mean, I had this thing at, you up had at it like higher. number two, but yeah. in good conscience, we just can't keep it up there. They've, they've cleaned house, <laughs> Papa's out. Papa, I don't even- Papa's gone. Their sauce is sweet, their cheese is thick, and their, I mean, it's- They go hard on the cheese. That, and, and they also, they do the thing that I do whenever I make a pizza for myself at home, which is, there's cheese, there's ingredients, and then there's another layer of cheese to hold everything in place. Oh, I see, as an adhesive. That is a great technique, and it, I mean, more cheese is better, but it also just creates this like uniform thing that no other place really does in the same way. I believe that they're very consistent, too. You know, it's no, no matter where That's you, fair. I, there's other things on our list higher, but, but it's a bit more of a crapshoot uh, when it comes to your front door. Mm. I'm very curious because I'm surprised this didn't come up right off the bat, but one of the most commendable things about about Papa John's to me is that they provide you with a butter garlic dipping sauce. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It is revolutionary. Not a lot of other people do it. We actually did an episode where we tested out different dips of pizza. We, we've gone from pizza all the way to dips, and I do think yeah. garlic butter, it may have won or it was very, very, close to the top. You know, you you guys might be living up to the title of renowned tasters of pizza, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> okay, moving along, my number four is Sbarro. You put Sbarro on your top five? <laughs> yes, yes I did. <laughs> and let me tell you why, because I love the mall. <laughs> oh my God. I love the mall. I know Sbarro, look, it gets a bad rap as being low quality pizza. Yeah, it does. I frankly have never had an issue with it. I know what I'm getting when I go to Sbarro. It's kind of like going to McDonald's and getting a cheeseburger. You know you're not getting an incredible cheeseburger, but you're getting a McDonald's cheeseburger. And the same can be said for Sbarro's Pizza at the mall. I love a pizza place that, you know, it's just got it sitting out and it's probably a few hours old and then they just pop it right back in the oven for you and heat it up a little bit. Yeah, that sounds about right. I love walking along the window. It's not a build your own pizza place, but it's, it's sort of like, you know, you just point at stuff and they're like, okay, here you go. Uh, <laughs> And it's uh, it's not a good pie, but it's a uh, it's a pizza pie. It's not a good pie, but okay. it's a pizza pie. If the only place you can get it is at a mall food court, what does that say about it? Frankly, I, well, one, I would ask you to respect my list uh, <laughs> politely. I'll ask you politely, and next time, not so polite. Listen, Shane, I yeah. I do respect your list. I respect the fact that the only reason you could come up with for liking Sabaro is that it was in a mall. That's not I mean, no, he said you know? the point thing too. He said you can point. Yeah, oh yeah, he, he, he said you could point. Yeah. Don't forget you pointed stuff. This is not a newcomer here. Everyone knows this guy. Everyone's good friend. It's Pizza Hut. You know, one of the more iconic pizza chains out there in terms of look, their slice of the market share pie <laughs> is not as big yeah. as it once was. It used to dominate. And now, unfortunately, it's number two behind Do uh, Domino's in terms of sales. But uh, I still think that Pizza Hut when you're talking delivery, hard to top it. I have a lot of, of pleasant memories associated with Pizza Hut. It was always the uh, pizza of choice at sleepovers growing up. So I think maybe that nostalgia is perhaps uh, factoring in here. Pizza Hut is not afraid to throw toppings on there. They will, they'll, they'll hit you with some toppings. And they're super experimental in the way that they, you know, the, so I think they came out with the stuffed crust, which was is a super exactly. solid choice. And before that, Meat Lovers Pizza, I'm gonna give that to Pizza Hut as an originator. Yeah. Don't know for yeah. sure. Well, and I think the reason that they didn't hold on to that market share is because they miscalculated 
how important it was to have the ability to go in and sit down, right? And they okay. held on to that idea for too long. You kind of felt just a tad bit regal when you were eating pizza, because you were like, you know, this is delivery, but I could be sitting down in a restaurant eating it. You know that yeah. is part of this. They put way too much stock into the hut and not to the pizza. The biggest hut I've ever seen. Go into any town and you'll still see these huts. <laughs> now they've been turned into like, that That pizza hut's now a sushi place. Or that there's a podiatrist in that, that pizza, pizza hut. hut is yeah. a podiatrist. <laughs> yeah, forget about the pizza. Let's just talk about the hut here. 10 out of 10 hut. <laughs> the hut endures. All right, let's move on to number three. But before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsor. This episode of Top 5 Beatdown is sponsored by Bright Cellars. Now, Bright Cellars is a unique wine service that uses a quiz to determine your taste preferences. And then from there, they send you a list of your top six based on those preferences from around the world. I consider myself a very casual vino drinker, so I was pleased to see that the questions on the quiz are non-snobby, very easy, things like what kind of chocolate do you prefer? What kind of fruit do you like? And then from those answers, they give you the suggestions of the wines you should be drinking. And then they send you this box. As you can see, I already drank one with my girlfriend. Uh, buttery is how I would describe that. Very, uh, I guess, matched to my preferences. Each box also comes with these uh, education cards. You see the name of the wine. You see where it's from. You see what temperature it should be served at. You also see what it should be paired with. This one is uh, should be paired with a tropical fruit salad with lime dressing or a loud spicy chicken lard or relaxing bubble bath. And who doesn't love a bubble bath? And if you happen to not like one of the bottles of wine in your box, there is the Bright Cellars Delight Guarantee, which means they will replace that bottle for free in your next box. Viewers will get 50% off their first six bottle box if they use the link in the description. Now, back to top five beatdown. Coming in at number three for us, um, Sbarro. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, <laughs> against our hey, own hey, better judgment. Now, and here's the thing, here's the thing. This is really important to note. During that episode, which again, was a blind pizza taste test, we knew the That's five fair. different places that we were tasting from. And what we did is we tasted something that was not good. I believe that it was Little Caesars. And we yes, were like talking so sense. much trash. We we're like, this is so bad. This has got to be Sabaro. Yeah. Like in our minds, we just thought Sabaro was bad. So we yeah. we thought we were ranking it really low. But because it turns malls out, are bad. But it turns out, I think it ended up being like the second best tasting pizza in that blind pizza taste test for both of us. Yeah, yeah. It was great. And so Sabaro, <laughs> it, it's, yeah, listen, I thought it was bad too. But listen, in, in on a side by side test, it proved itself. Whenever you go to the mall, just put on a blindfold first and then eat that pizza. But how I mean, can you how can you point if you have the blindfold? No, you you go to a mall with a blindfold, it's gonna the the vapor's gonna travel through the the place and you're, you're gonna float to it like Yogi Bear smell in a picnic basket. Yeah, I think if you're gonna eat Sabaro in a mall, you might want to make that blindfold even bigger and just call it a mass because you don't want anyone <laughs> to see that you're eating Sabaro. It's embarrassing. <laughs> how much do expectations play into our enjoyment of things? Because you said it yourself, you thought Sabaro was bad. Maybe I perhaps think Sabaro is just bad. And if I were to do it blindfolded, I would enjoy it. The value of the blind taste test. It's knocking down uh, prejudices. Tell that to Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. My number three is, uh, it's Papa John's. Uh, and with the all the necessary uh, uh, excuses up front. And Shane, I'm gonna look, stop you right there because my number three is also Papa John's. Okay, wow. all right, well it's all out there then. We, look, we've made the statements that we need to make here. Papa John, a vile human. Uh, yeah, look, this is not an endorsement of that man. I think he's out of the picture now. But look, for all the things we were saying before, uh, I love that they're giving you a pizza, but then they're also giving you a lot of uh, elements to to spice it up with the dips and the peppers. Uh, it's, it's a delightful experience and frankly one that is one of a kind. I mean, let's just say it, Shane. When it comes to condiments, best in the game. Best, best in, in the, the game. game. That garlic sauce is crack. I don't know what's inside of it, but it's it is outrageous. amazing. Yeah. So don't forget to shake good. it up before you open it, though. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a rookie yeah. move. That garlic sauce, man. I think if I could just rank that on the list on its own, I probably would. I would drink it. I would drink I'm, it. I wouldn't okay, go that far, I, but I, I might yeah, sip on may it. May I? May I? Chefs kiss that? Yeah. That, that's that's, you, know uh, you know what? I'm gonna tandem that. I think it's all that's going all around. I've never had a 
Oh. You can't chef kiss yourself, can you? <laughs> I guess we just did. I chef kissed Shane's and Shane chef kissed mine, which taken out of context could be great. No, it's all for the sauce. It's all for the sauce. We're going back to the hut. Pizza Hut is our number two. I got to put it out there right now. It's also my number two. Wow, yes. Shane, our all list. Right, all right, wow, all we're, right. First of all, our list so far is not completely in order, but we're, we, the same four are out of four, right? CPK, yes, Papa John, Sabaro, and Pizza Hut. Whoa, freaky. Yeah, you're this right. Crazy. Wow. I see there's a coalition forming here, and uh, I don't like it. You know, we talked about this already, but the inventive nature of it, it's just a solid tasting pizza, but there is a nostalgia factor for us. It's personal pan pizza, that was just magical as a kid. I didn't have to share, you know, it's like. Book club. You know? Remember that? We had the book club. It was called Book It. Oh, yeah. And then for every book you read, you'd put a sticker, yeah. and then when you got yeah. a certain number of stickers, you'd go get a personal pan pizza. Yeah. I don't know how, how long that program continued, but it was certainly around when I was a child, and it, it really endeared me to reading because uh, pizza's great. I forged my entire button. It just endeared me to pizza. I'm not a well-read person. <laughs> You're a well-fed person. I'm, I'm I'll say nice. what, you know, we want to talk universally panned. I talk about their pan pizza, it's marvelous. I don't know where else you can get a pan pizza that's mass produced like that, that's really good. Also, I don't know how universal this is, but the Pizza Hut in my town was a Pizza Hut buffet, which yes. meant uh, mm. for, the, for lunch you pay like, I don't know, it was probably like 15, bucks 12 bucks yeah you could eat until you were sick yeah ours was too now let's move on to my number two here it's a bit of a wild card an outlier Ooh. but it is available around the states my number two is shaky's pizza parlor Ooh, now. <laughs> oh, oh yeah that's yeah. right all right now now made in 1954 here they uh i went on their website they appeared to have trademarked the phrase world's greatest pizza. It has a big TM after that. I don't know how they did that. I don't know if that's even true. I think some crazy intern just put TM after world's greatest pizza. <laughs> uh, I, I believe it though. It's very good. Understand a lot of this is caked in nostalgia. Yep, Shakey's sure. for me growing up, I used to be an AYSO soccer. And if you would win, or if you would perhaps, you know, score some kind of a scholastic achievement in class, yeah. you would get a pizza party. And the pizza party of choice usually was Shakey's. And Shakey's, uh, as you may or may not know, has arcade games in there. They have beer for the adults and just a very fun environment. It's like a, a pizza community that they've built under Shakey's. <laughs> and uh, I also enjoy the fact that they're a buffet. One of my favorite things on earth, and, and once I am a garbage human, so, with that disclaimer. I wish I wish I would have saved my chef's kiss for uh, that admittance. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and mute Shane. Let's what? Go ahead and mute Shane. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite things on earth is their bunch of lunch, which is a, a thing. That's the name of their lunch buffet. Cause hey, it's a whole bunch of lunch. <laughs> so uh, it's eight, <laughs> it's eight ninety nine. You get their buffet, which is unlimited access to pepperoni pizza and their famous Mojo's, perhaps the best side item available. What is it? What is that? Glad you asked. It's a hockey puck of, of, of a potato skin. It's like this, it's fried, it's crispy, yet it also still tastes very much like a potato. It's an incredible thing. You owe it to yourself to have a Mojo before you die. Also the wings, not bad. All of this included in Bunch of Lunch. I'm not in the pocket of Big, big Shakey's here. I just really love their lunch special. Bunch of lunch. I can't safely say or confidently say that I've had it. I've never had it because I, I didn't want to eat at a place called Shakey's. <laughs> it just seems like they're not confident in themselves. They may not be capable of putting everything where it needs to go. Right. It's yeah, like yeah. I can't think of any positives just in terms of what I'm seeing from the outside. My so point I haven't of, given it a chance. I, so that's a good point. My point of reference for this type of place is Round Table. Yes. Yes. Do, which I do not enjoy. Like that's where I like. My kids had, had some sort of sports thing, and the same deal. Like at the end of the season, we went there, and I was just like, "Ah, this is. I'll just <laughs> eat something after this." Yeah. Shane is no longer talking. He's looking around as if he's lost something. Uh, let's unmute Shane. I'm actually curious what he wants to say here. Well, wow, thank you. Um, I would like to say that we worked uh, in an office that was on the same block as a Shakey's 
for two or three years. And uh, every time we walked past it, Ryan would say, we should get lunch at Shakey's. And we, and we never once did. <laughs> right. Yeah. Most people in that restaurant looked like they were sleeping. Yeah, because they just had a bunch of lunch. Let's move on to number one here. So our number one puts us right in line with the palate of America. I think we might all be on the same page. That's my prediction. It's Domino's. Shane, are you with oh, us? Number one for Shane? It's not, it's not Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> what? Domino's isn't on your list at all. Oh, left Ryan's at the altar. Incredible. Ryan, is, not, is Domino's your altar. number one? Ryan? Nope. Oh, oh Domino's wow. is not on either one of you guys' list. That is incredible. Okay, listen, okay, Domino's. All right, we, well, we got a lot to stand up for here. I, I, I'll say it before you guys get into it. I will say it almost made the cut. Almost for me too. I didn't think Domino's was any good, but that's because I was thinking of the old Domino's from years back. Yeah. Domino's. Domino's has truly transformed themselves in, in in very big ways over the past decade. Yeah, the pizza. It, it would not have been on my list 10 years ago, honestly. I see, so this is the opposite of I like the old Kanye. You like the new <laughs> exactly. Kanye. Exactly, right, this is. We love the new religious Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of, I mean, the pizza itself is is really good. And yeah. it, I don't think it has the consistency at your doorstep of a Papa John's. That being said, the ingredients are just as good. And yeah. they have completely nailed the delivery game. That's true. Now, I'm not necess necessarily talking about consistency, which I, I haven't really experienced an inconsistency with Domino's, but I, I get, timing. I get some bubbles. Timing. Pizza bubbles. And their app? Yeah, yeah. And listen, th they're not a sponsor. I know we're talking about them like they're a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. This happens often on the show. We get it. You know, we're here to shill. We're, we're at eight, believe it or not, we're actually in Shaky's pocket. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Ryan is <laughs> not They didn't even pocket. make the list. <laughs> yeah, but ju I mean, I, listen, when. I'm, I'm sure there's other places that are doing this now, but when I see something where it's like, Mark has just put your pizza in the oven, and I see yeah, that, and it's happened. It's fun. Like, oh, that's cool. I did not know they did that. Four minutes after I've ordered it? I mean, the, 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 the precision that their pizza tracker has is very respectable. I, I wouldn't be surprised if at this point they've gotten down to like, Mark has placed the fourth piece of pepperoni on your pizza. Yeah, it is related to the minutia. This is the number one pizza chain in the world in terms of sales. It actually passed Pizza Hut a couple years ago. Listen, we've chef kissed each other up and down and all around about <laughs> Papa John's garlic butter, but P P Domino's has that. <laughs> Domino's also has like 18 <laughs> other types of dips that if yeah they got that a lot you of can try too. Got a lot of dips. Yeah. You could order a flight of of dips that yeah. would. I mean, it was stretched clear across this table. Well, um, it could also be argued that maybe they don't have a lot of confidence in their dips. I, I would agree with that. They, if they have dips, they're giving you why are they hiding options? them? Get those bad boys out in the open. I haven't heard about these. You dips. know, Papa John's, they just throw it in there. They're like, this is our dip, and you're going to love it. Right. Domino's is like, oh, we got some dips in the back, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Domino's is our number one. We're sticking to it. And I'm just disappointed <laughs> that we didn't have a five for five with Shane. I can't, I no, can't no. believe we were right, right with Shane. We were wishing the everything altar. and this didn't even make What is your number one? I don't. Let's hear it, Shane. What is your number one? My number one is Lumel Nati's Pizzeria. It's available in several states. It, look, I understand that this is not uh, in every city all over the world. I will say, you can order it online and they'll ship He's you some frozen it. pizzas. They're incredible. I, I didn't even, this was a happy accident. No way, but there's yeah, no Ryan, way. Ryan, I'm How not gonna mute be? you because I want you to be a part of this conversation. <laughs> it's um, unbelievable. I, will, I don't know I will why you're I not give you the that. pleasure of muting. Here, look, here's the thing, guys. As someone from Chicago, if I turned my back on Deep Dish, uh, look, I'd be I'd be laughed out of town. They never let me back in the city limits. And look, there's some deep dish out there that's straight up gnarly. But Melnati's Pizza has been there since I was a child. I have some in my freezer right now. I'm probably gonna make some right after this. If you are not a fan of deep dish, I would recommend trying Lou Melnati's if you haven't had it because it is um, it's a work of art. We love this place, and we I mean we took we took a tour years ago. That warms my heart. They, they took us in the back and they showed us how they made the pizzas. That and the big freaking sausage that covers every single square inch of the pizza. Yeah. Okay, if you guys love though. that, then I love to hear that. That is not my cup of tea. Do I you two see what happens, Red and Link? What, what happens when you extend an olive branch to Shane Madej? He sets it on fire. 
right no, in front no, of no, your no, face. No, 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 Yeah, it's oh, like the one on. thing we love, he doesn't even like. You, you, glad you guys no, like I, my pick. Hate what you just said, though. No, 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 I'm, <laughs> right I'm, 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 I'm saying, you know, nowhere else in the pizza business are you going to be able to get a hubcap of sausage on your pizza, yeah. and that's, that's worth mentioning. It's very commendable. Is it perhaps generous to call this a chain chain? I, I, I yeah. do think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, we you don't have about a number one. Lumanati's is clearly the best tasting pizza that has been mentioned Agreed, by a long probably. shot, I think. But I just feel like we couldn't go there because it just, yeah, there's multiple locations, but. Well, because of the topic <laughs> of this video. You know, yeah, because yeah. of the assignment. We follow the directions. We follow the directions. Right. I know I am sometimes controversial, uh, uh, oh my but God. 57 locations. Now let's move on to my number one, and I'm sure okay. this is going to delight you folks, because it's been mentioned already. What? <laughs> my number one is round table pizza. <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right. What is, yeah. Round table pizza. That is crazy. What is wrong with you? You have any idea how hard I had to hide my smile when you guys were shitting on round table pizza. <laughs> it was so hard. For the record, we cannot we cannot mute you on your own choice, right? I even have some fun facts for you guys. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh boy. I got some I got <laughs> I some notes here. Fun. Love the King Arthur theme. That's not a fact, that's just an opinion. I, I think it's very novel. Started in uh -huh. the late 1950s. Uh, they got a, a, this is also not a fact, I don't know why I said I'm reading off facts, but pretty decent Caesar salad there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's fact. a fact. Their Caesar salad is decent. decent. Write it in stone, baby, <laughs> that's decent, a fact. Yeah. Number eight in sales in the United States as well. That's that may surprise actually you. actually pretty impressive. All that to say, this was my number one destination when it came to pizza parties after a sporting event, a sporting game in which I played in, or some sort of scholastic achievement. Shakey's was number two. Round table was the cream of the crop for me when I was a, when I was a kid. I was so excited to go to this place. They had my favorite tasting cheese, and they had these tiny little adorable pepperonis on there. They're not they big, but they have yeah. they pack a lot of flavor. And their and their dough, I I loved it. This was one of the few places where I ate the crust as well. Have you had it recently? I have not. Uh, the last time I had it was like five <laughs> years ago because I don't okay, eat that much okay. pizza. I've had it as an adult. Still great. And that could be like, you know, when you go to Disneyland as an adult and you ride a ride that you rode as a kid and you're like, still got it. And if you got that, if you got on that ride, you know, with blind eyes or fresh eyes, you probably wouldn't think it's that great. Maybe that's happening here. But I do genuinely think this is the best tasting chain pizza I've had. I'm having so much trouble now because <laughs> moving forward, you're having trouble. Yeah. As I watch, as I continue to watch your videos, mm. I, the whole time I'm just gonna be thinking, you know, when before I was like, you know what, when it comes to paranormal stuff, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna try to be open-minded. This is this yeah. is fun, I'm yeah. into this. Now I'm just gonna be thinking, that guy's favorite pizza place is Round Table. <laughs> Like, I can't believe anything this guy's saying. That's, that's, see, here's the thing though. It's not my favorite pizza place. It's my favorite pizza chain. Now there's plenty of other pizzas that taste far okay. superior to this. Round table pizza is great. Ghosts are real. I just, you know, it's, I don't know what to do with it. They, they, they go together like cheese himself. and pepperoni. They go together you, you like cheese and pepperoni. You did it to yourself. Pepperoni. You know what? <laughs> I think I might do it to myself after this. I, I mean, going to get pizza. I realized I made it seem like I was gonna go, you know, beat it, but I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna go get uh, round table pizza. Do I realize this is a hot take? Absolutely, but I stand by it. I'll put Round Table against Sabaro any day of the week. Also, for Pizza Hut, Domino's, any of those cats, I'm, I'm putting Round Table above them. You're sticking by your list, and and that's I respect that. Uh, uh, you know what, Ryan? For you, I'm gonna give it another shot. Yeah, you know what, Shane? Why don't we eat that after this video and we'll compare notes? Oh, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You guys do that. Make sure you guys chime off in the comments if you agreed with our lists or thought our lists were garbage, or maybe you thought somebody got a little more flack than they needed to. You could do that too. I'm not <laughs> saying you should, but you could do that. Uh, Red and Link, do you guys have anything to plug? Check out our show, Good Mythical Morning. Check out our podcast, Ear Biscuits. We, we do so much food on the show that we actually created a, a channel uh, with our mythical chef, Josh. It's called Mythical Kitchen. So if you're into food content, Ooh. He knows more than we do. That's yeah, sure. he actually brings not just an opinion, but like some insight and, and some experience to the food world. So, Mythical Kitchen, and, check that out. And Stephen Lim was on that show, right? Yeah. Yes. You could see Watcher's own Stephen Lim on that show. Go check that out and check out the most recent episode. That's, that's, the, that's list. the list. That's the list.